All right, so let's quickly talk about the upper back and shoulders within bioenergetics, right? This area right here. So I did create a longer video about this section and gave two really detailed examples of people with different type of shoulder issues and what it says about them psychologically. But this is the truth of life right here. That no matter where you go or who you are, you do judge people based on their cover, right? They say, don't judge the book by its cover or don't judge people. Your body and your brain naturally judge people based on their character structure and their how their body is positioned. You can't stop that. I don't care how <laughs> spiritual you are. Your body and your mind do that naturally. You feel people's uh, presence, you see them, and your mind just says like, oh, okay, this person, if I come up to you like this, is a certain type of person. If I come up to you like this, I'm a different type of person. If I come up to you like this, I'm a different type of person, right? So you you already do this subconsciously. You don't know about it, but now you'll be a little bit more consciously aware of what these things say about you, but then also what they say about other people. For me personally, for most of my life, I was more like this, right? And sometimes it's just, it's millimeters sometimes, but you know, a, a different shift from like this to this makes a big difference in in your mind, in your body, and in your life. So, ooh, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, but I used to be, this was, this was my natural way of being, just like closed off, protective, sad. I used to walk around with, uh, with hoodies a lot, you know, like putting my, my hands in my pockets and then putting the hood up, actually, even with headphones just like this, walk around. Like I didn't want people to see me, to notice me. And I, I suffered from uh, like depressive episodes, you know, and I was also kind of anxious of people. So this kind of made me feel a little bit more protective, you know, protected and, and stuff like that. So I had to, through bioenergetics and through exercise, I had to learn to, uh, Ah, release, open up. And a big part of it was releasing the, the back and uh, the, the back and the shoulders so that my body could naturally be opened up a little bit more. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to work on the neurotic holding patterns of the upper back and the shoulders so that we can have naturally hanging shoulders. Um, I can't show it here because it's, well, maybe I can. You want your shoulders in a posture example, right? You want your shoulders to be matching with your hips and then your your, your, your ankles like all the way down. I don't know if I can show that. Uh, maybe I'll show an example like over here somewhere. <laughs> Where it's just like you want it to be in a line. You want a good linear posture. You don't want to be like this. You want to be um, structurally intact, structurally aligned. And a lot of us, and you'll notice this, a lot of people have that double cross they call, I think they call it double cross syndrome or something like that, where they go like this. And then uh, what else? Up. You'll see a lot of people up like that. And many of these things happen because of traumatic holding patterns. Not so much because you're just sitting at a desk. People are like, oh, they just sit in a desk too much. And that's why they're like this, which does happen. Of course, you know, your, your, your posture kind of gets stuck that way. That's why I have a standing desk so that I could do this. But a lot of it is deeper and it comes from different different experiences, mostly of anger, of fear, and of sadness and of guilt, like really awful, awful feelings that really affect us. For me, it was, well, sadness, <laughs> for me, it was sadness, anger, um, mostly sadness and anger. Yeah. So that's why I had to release back here. There's a lot of anger that gets trapped in your upper back and, uh, and, and then, and then your shoulders too, like your shoulder girdles. There was a lot of anger and a lot of sadness. And I didn't really know about the anger. Sometimes it would just lash out. And, you know, I had a whole video about talking about this and how that works. And then, you know, I'll, I'll try to link it, link it up over here. There's also fear. You know, when somebody gets scared stiff, you, you know, you're scared. It, just think about it. You, you, you kind of just do this. You protect, right? You're protecting your neck. Like, it's like the animalistic um, environmental psychology nature. It's just like you protect your neck. So you go... You're scared, so you protect, you protect, but then you can get stuck this way. And most, and people who have this type of, type of the feeling, they don't really, 
probably know that they're stuck this way, that they could be like, ah, but it seems like for them, they're only, they're, they're scared and they're, they're, they're holding, they're holding on the weight of the, the world. They're holding on to it. It's just like, oh man, it's very sad. It's just like, oh, please just let them, let them release and relax, you know, let your shoulders down and chill. And there's also like the anger and the fear and the, and the guilt that I'm talking about. Like anger gets trapped over here and Many times it's uh, it's with the anger, it's, like, it's really rigid, like very rigid. You'll see um, maybe a lot of psychopaths, like the psychopath nature have a lot of this. They're just rigid, you know, and they gotta, they gotta loosen up because if, that, if not, they can't, um, this is like language of the body type stuff, they can't reach out to people. You know, they can't reach out for love. They can't, they can't reach because that takes, that takes movement here. Right. And psychologically speaking, I'm saying they can't really reach out for, for, for love or asking or whatever. They're just, they're too rigid. And it's psychological and physiological. There's so much depth into this and this area specifically, there's so much going on. You'll notice a lot of it in yourself. So when you do these exercises, the upper back and shoulders, take your time with them. Take your time with them. Really feel deeply into them. Really start allowing them to get released. Notice what goes on. Um, it could be sadness, it could be anger, it could be fear, there could be guilt, certain things coming out, you know. So just be aware of what's going on, release them slowly, do these exercises multiple times to really get the full benefit of it. And there's going to be exercises that are standard, regular exercises to start off loosening this area you don't want to just go extreme into the expressive exercises yet right so to start loosening it up and start noticing and then as we continue on then it's just like oh now we're now that it's, it's loosened and you've already started to work on some of the neurotic holding patterns then we can really go bam bam and start really doing hardcore emotional releases and that's going to be super powerful for so many of us so that's all I got right now for the upper back and shoulders. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.